club, there's gonna be some painting and drawing Art club, there's gonna be some painting and drawing Some of the time we might do drawing and painting But most of the time we will do painting and drawing Grab a pencil, grab a brush, we're about to do Art club! Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Art club uh, Excuse me? Uh out! Out of my chair! Go and do some homework or something. Go on. Go on. Off. I don't know. Anyway, hello. Oh, actually, my hat. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Art Club. I'll be your host, Olaf Falafel. Well, that was all a bit stupid, wasn't it? We're going to have a great episode today. It's episode 12, and we're learning all about... Punk. If you don't know what punk is, it's like a style of music, a style of fashion, a style of design, and it happened in the 1970s, so about 50 years ago, and it was quite influential because it was all about breaking the rules, which is something that we all love here at Art Club. In fact, I've done a song about it this week, and I'm going to play a bit of that song now, but be warned, if you are of a nervous disposition, I am quite shouty in this because punk was quite shouty and quite rock. The first rule of a club There are no rules, you can do what you like The second rule, ignore the first The third rule, always wear stripes Well that was pretty shouty, wasn't it? There's going to be more of that coming up later on, so you've got that to look forward to. I'm going to start playing all of your wonderful pictures from last week. We had loads of fantastic, angry, disgruntled donuts. We had loads of absolutely brilliant pollocks. And I got sent some wonderful sausage birds with the uh, beak opening, so that's all brilliant. Oh, oh yeah, my disgruntled donut army. One of you will have won this, and the name of that lucky person is gonna come up here. If that is you or your child, have a look in the description to this video and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Right, what else have we got? Oh yeah, please keep sharing Art Club. Click subscribe if you haven't. In fact, it's more important than ever that you click subscribe now. I'll tell you why at the end of the show. In this episode of Art Club, it's punk themed, so we're going to be doing our own punk posters. That should be quite fun, and we'll be doing some definitely not rude words in them. We're also going to be doing a cool two-part drawing, which has a punk duck in it. I'm going to be teaching you how to do some simple characters, which is going to be really cool. Oh, and there's also a Breaking the Rules colour poster, so we've got all of that to look forward to. If you haven't already done so as well, Make sure you download your subscriber's certificate. Uh, it looks like this. And what that means is if you have clicked subscribe, you can download this, print it out, and color in the bits that you've achieved. So uh, there's lots of little achievements on there, like wearing stripes or sending me a joke. Make sure you send in your jokes as well. It's great to see all of your cool jokes. I think that's all I need to tell you at the beginning before we get going. Uh, before we do get going, I think I might just play a little bit more of my song. There's no rules Listen very carefully There's no rules Apart from the first three Grab a pencil, grab a brush We're about to do Art Club Right, we're going to start by doing our two-part drawing and we're going to be drawing a punk duck and that is a duck who has spiky hair, he'll be singing, uh, he'll be wearing punk fashion, so like ripped clothes that are stitched back together. Should be a lot of fun. And then later, at the end of the show, we're going to be drawing a companion for him that will also be another kind of farmyard bird, but it won't be a punk duck. So we'll need a sheet of paper and you'll also need a pen. I'm using this fat brush nibbed pen uh, and I'll also be using a slightly thinner one here again that I like to use all the time. And we'll start in this side of the piece of paper. We're gonna draw our duck. Now, I don't wanna do him too high up because I will eventually have him saying something, but we'll start by doing the head, which is this kind of shape. And the neck kind of comes down to about here. And then we'll do the beak, which is like a, a V shape. And the front part of the beak curls up like this. And from there, 
curls up and it joins like that. And the bottom part of the beak goes like that. Now the head continues just round like this. And then we do more of the neck here. Now our duck is gonna have a collar on with spikes, which is something that punks used to like to wear. And so we'll do a collar here. And I'll use my other brush to put some spikes on a bit later. But we'll draw the body. Now the body is this kind of weird blob shape like this, a bit like an upside down light bulb. And we'll draw one wing coming out here. Actually, I might revert to my thin pen to do these wings. And we'll do like a thumb shape there. It's almost like a mitten, this wing. So the next bit curves in like that. The wing on the other side is gonna be holding a microphone. So we'll do a curved line here. And a thumb there. And we'll draw a little rectangle. It's gonna carry on from the other side of this thumb. And we'll do a round bit on the end of this microphone. And we'll color that in with some cross hatching. And then we'll do the rest of the wing curving round like so. And it grabbing the microphone like that. Now we're gonna draw his eye. So do a round circle. eyebrow as well and we'll do his two legs so we'll do a curved line here and this leg is going to be on the ground and his feet are kind of like flippers so we'll do a little wedge shape with three little bits like that and the back leg is going to be up in the air so we'll do another curve And this time we'll do the triangular kind of wedge shape there, three bits like that. What you can also do here is do some little lines around his leg like this. And there. And I'm just gonna do his little tail kind of popping out to one side there. Now that's your duck, but we want to make him a bit more punk rock. So he's going to be wearing a punk rock t-shirt. Now what punks used to like to do, and fashion designers who designed for punk bands, they would cut up clothes and then stitch them back together. So I'm going to make a sleeve here and a sleeve there. And this is going to be the bottom of his t-shirt, but this is going to be cut. So we'll do a cut there, we'll do a cut there, and then we'll put some little stitches in as though it's been stitched back together. Again, there, some little stitches. They used to like to use safety pins as well, so I might draw a big safety pin. It's this kind of shape. And a line there, and a bit of a kind of a V shape there, and a circle, and a circle. Oh, we need to give him some spiky hair. Let's give him some spiky hair. So a spike there. Let's put some studs on that collar of his. So a spike there and one there and then some round circles actually in the collar. And we'll finish it off by doing a ring through his nose like this. That's our punk duck. Come back in the second half of the show and we'll do him a companion who isn't a punk. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? A bird can fly, but a fly can't bird. <laughs> and that joke has come from Isla, age eight. Right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is a really simple and useful tutorial on drawing characters. All you need is a pencil and a sheet of paper. And with a few simple shapes, I'll show you how you can make all sorts of different characters. Right, all you'll need to do is draw three circles, and these are gonna be the heads of our characters, 
And then underneath those circles, draw some little rectangles. These are gonna be the bodies. And then each one has two more rectangles that will be the legs. I'm doing these really quickly and quite lightly, so you can always rub them out afterwards. And I'm just gonna draw some little triangles that will be the feet. Now, because hands are quite tricky, we're gonna do a bit of a cheat. We're gonna have the hands in the pockets. So we're just gonna draw some curves for the arms. I'll show you what I mean. Now these are your basic character templates and all you need to do now is decide what you want each character to be. So the first one I'm gonna do here is gonna be a boy. I always start with the nose. So I'll do the little nose in the middle of the face. Now this boy is gonna be wearing glasses. So I'll do some big glasses here. A little dot in the middle, a curve there. And a couple of ears. I'm going to give him some spiky hair. And perhaps a fringe bit that comes down like this. And you can always rub this line here out. And I'm going to give him a goofy smile. So I'll give him a smile and then perhaps have some teeth kind of sticking out like this. Oh, and give him some eyebrows. Don't forget the eyebrows perhaps a bit of texture in the hair like this. And I'm gonna give him a striped top. Actually make it into a t-shirt, so I'll put a sleeve like that, and like that. And I'm only doing this really quickly and really roughly. You can take your time, and once you've done it properly, you can go over it. And I think he's more or less done. So the next one we're gonna move on to, I think this will be a girl, and I'll do the nose in the middle again first and I'll give her some little lip kind of shaped mouth, like that. And we'll do one ear here, one ear here. I think I'll give her quite big curly hair. Going off sort of to one side of it. Again, you can rub out that line again if you Give her two eyes and eyebrows. I think this girl is gonna have a skirt and some stripy leggings underneath. Again, about that bit. And I might do a little t-shirt design. So I think I might have her t-shirt saying, no rules. And I'll give her some like a curly kind of texture in her hair. Now, I think my last one, I'll do the nose again and I'll make that a bit bigger, that nose. And I think this is gonna be a girl again, so I'll give her some lips. make her look kind of a little bit, I don't know, a little bit bored. An ear there, an ear there. I'll do her hair so it kind of goes off like this and comes down the back. she's going to be wearing a hoodie so I'll do the hood kind of coming out the back there and the drawstring there and a drawstring there I might even put a little stripe along the sleeves and perhaps I'll give her some turn-ups on her jeans and there you have it three different characters, all using the same template, and all I've done is change a few different bits, and I've made three different characters. To be honest, you could make a hundred different characters using that very simple template. All you need to do is change the hair, the eyes, the top, the bottom half, change them as much as you like. You could base them on people you know, some of your friends. Really good, fun, quick way of making fun characters.
I swallowed a load of Scrabble tiles yesterday. Going to the toilet could spell trouble. <laughs> and that joke has come from Aaron, age nine. Right, it's time for our one minute artist bit. Now it's a little bit different this week because it's a punk special. So we're gonna be learning a little bit about punk and some of the famous creative people involved. One minute art movement, punk. Punk was a design, art, fashion and music scene made popular in the USA and Britain during the 1970s. Punk was all about challenging authority, being rebellious, unconventional and different and breaking the rules. Two leading creative figures in the punk movement were Jamie Reid, who created posters, and Vivian Westwood, who was a fashion designer. A lot of punk art and design mirrored punk rock music, which was loud, fast and shouty. Jamie Reid made his punk posters by cutting out letters, photocopying them and sticking them back together. One of his most famous posters was for a punk rock band, where he took a portrait of the Queen and stuck the words, God save the Queen, over her face. Vivian Westwood designed clothes for lots of different punk bands. Her clothes typically included zips, cuts, safety pins, stitches, chains and provocative slogans. Many people say that punk ideals influenced a lot of today's artists, including the street artist Banksy. And that is punk in a minute. Well that was interesting wasn't it? And unfortunately ever so slightly <laughs> Educational. Well, I think to counterbalance that, we need to play my song now. I've made my own punk rock song all about no rules, which is something we like here in Art Club. So here we go. Be warned, it is quite loud. The first rule of Art Club. There are no rules, you can do what you like The second rule, ignore the first The third rule, always wear stripes Make the queen out of plasticine Rip off her face if you're making a pollock Turn Boris into a strawberry Draw an altar and make it robotic There's no rules Apart from the first three Make a poop in a pop art style Dress up as a dolphin if it feels right Vomit a rainbow if it makes you smile Use a pencil or a finger dipped in Marmite And salute on a joke shop poo Clone yourself in the name of art Bouncing bombs and sausage birds too Whooping cushions with tons of light farts Disco pants and a skateboarding sloth Be Joe Wicks or Jurgen Klopp Superhero pizza, belly button fluff Write a word as long as it's plop There's no rules 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 Now we're going to be creating our very own punk poster, a bit like the ones that Jamie Reid made for those famous punk rock bands. And what you'll need for this is a sheet of paper. I'm using coloured paper. You can use plain white paper and colour it yourself if you want, but this just makes it a lot easier. You'll also need some plain white paper as well. You'll need some pencils and pens, and you'll also need some magazines. And I've got like some loads of stuff out of the recycling box here. So you'll need all of that. 
Uh, what you'll also need is a not quite rude word. Now, what I mean by this is, imagine that you are the queen or somebody who never ever says a rude word. And imagine you're putting up a shelf or something and you hit your thumb with the hammer. You might want to say something rude, but you're the queen. So you have to come up with a not quite rude word. Now, I'm writing a book at the moment and there's a character in this and she has got a list of not quite rude words. Uh, I'll put those up here actually, and there's things like fudge monkey and cheese weasel and crud bucket and duck pocket and all of these things that sound a bit rude, but they're the kind of thing that you might say if you stub your toe or you bash your thumb or something like that. And we're gonna turn those into punk rock posters. Now my favorite word is fudge monkey. Sounds really good, fudge monkey. Go on, give it a go yourselves. Oh, fudge monkey. So I'm gonna write the words fudge monkey on my poster. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is get a sheet of white paper and I'm gonna rip a strip from one side and rip a strip from the other side. I'll leave the middle bit over there and I'm gonna stick one of the bits at the bottom and I'm gonna stick one of these bits at the top here. And it gives quite a punk effect because they like to rip stuff and cut stuff and stick it on. So I'm gonna stick this down now. Now I'm gonna get the bit from the middle that I ripped out and I'm gonna write Fudge Monkey on there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use all of these boxes and some of these magazines over here, and I'm gonna find the individual letters for Fudge Monkey, and I'm gonna copy them onto this strip of paper. So the first letter is F. I need an F, a U, a D, a G, an E, an M, an O, an N, and K, an E, and a Y. That spells Fudge Monkey. So if I look, actually, on the cover of this week, Junior, really cool, uh, I've got an F there. So what I'm gonna do is using that F as a guide, I'm gonna get my pencil and I'm gonna write, try and copy that style of letter so it's kind of slightly slanted. It goes like that, like that, there. And that is my F of Fudge Monkey. Now for the U, I could use the U that is next to the F there on fun, but it's best to use lots of different types of lettering. So what I'm gonna do is put that to one side and I'm gonna get these packs I've got here from the recycling box. And actually there's a U there. So what I might try and do, it's quite small, so I might make it a bit bigger, is try and copy that U next to my F. And it's quite thin, this U, and it's got funny little thing at the top. Again, you don't have to do this. You can cut them out yourself and just stick them down. But I like to copy them out because it gives me some practice at copying different styles of lettering. And also this way, I can color them all the same color. If you're cutting them out, then you can't do that, obviously. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whiz through using lots of different styles of letters from different packs and different magazines. And I'm gonna spell out the word fudge monkey. Now, once you've got all of your letters written down, now you need to color them in. I'm gonna color mine in yellow so it contrasts nicely when I stick them on this pink stripe here. But you can color yours any color you like. Oh, I forgot to say, if you've got letters like the O or the G or the D that have little bits in the middle, that'll be a bit fiddly when it comes to cutting out. So what you might wanna do is color the reverse or the negative space. I'll show you what I mean. So you color in that bit there, and then do like a little square around and color the square in. So leave the actual O as it is, or you could color it in black if you want it all pink. I might color it in pink actually. And then the same with the G, and perhaps the same with the D. Now, once you've colored in your letters, what you need to do now is cut them out. You don't have to be super neat because that's kind of what punk was all about. It was being kind of rough and ready and photocopying things and cutting them out and them looking kind of homemade. So get your scissors, be careful with scissors. I've got some big ones and I've got some little ones if it gets a bit fiddly and get cutting out.
Right, so once you've got all of your letters cut out, you'll need to stick them down. But before we do that, I'm gonna do something else. Now you don't have to do this at all, but I have actually got a picture of the queen and I'm gonna cut her out and I'm gonna stick her here in the bottom corner so it looks like that she is saying the word fudge monkey. You don't have to do that at all. Or you could print out anybody you like. It could be your mum, your dad, it could be you. Uh, and I really wanna see loads of great words. So don't use the word fudge monkey, make up your own. And when your parents send them to me, I wanna see some really cool, funny, not quite rude words. There you go, your very own punk style poster. When the queen stubs her toe, she says, fudge monkey. It would be great to see all of your punk posters with your not rude words. Make sure you get your mums and dads to share them with me using the hashtag Olaf Art. Why can't T-Rexes clap their hands? Because they're extinct. <laughs> and that joke has come from Lucy. Well, that was quite fun, I suppose. What we're gonna do now is a Breaking the Rules color challenge poster. What you'll need for this is a sheet of A4 paper and then some things to color with. I've got pencils, I've got felt tips, whatever you wanna use, you can mix them up. All you need to do is really simple is Get a colour, so for example, I've got red here, and we're gonna write the word of a colour. All you have to make sure is that the word of the colour you write doesn't match the colour that you use, if you get what I mean. You'll see what I mean. So for example, I've got red, but I'm gonna write the word yellow. Now what I'm gonna do is choose another colour. So, I've got this blue here. And I'm going to do another word. I'm going to write purple. Oh, no, not purple. I'm going to write green. And I'm going to go down the page this time, I think. Again, get another colour. So I'm going to use yellow now. And I'm going to write red. And the idea is to fill up your whole page with words of colours in all sorts of different colours, but make sure those colours aren't the same as the words, if you know what I mean. I'm going to put this into fast forward. And there you go, a really colourful breaking the rules picture. A really good thing to do with this one is to challenge somebody to say the colours without saying the actual words. It is a lot more difficult than you think. So what you need to do, okay, is point at the different words and you need to say the colour and not the word, okay? okay. Here we go. Yellow, blue, Black, pink, orange, yeah. oh. <laughs> Go on, keep going. <laughs> Red, blue, oh, yellow, pink. No! <laughs> it's green. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Green, blue, orange. That was, that was blue. <laughs> you said green. Blue. Blue, orange, purple. <laughs> grab a pencil, grab a brush, we're about to do Art Club. Right, hopefully you'll remember that in the first half of the show we made our punk duck. We're going to make him another little friend and it's going to be a funky chicken. And that is going to be a chicken who is kind of all very funky and disco-y and lots of bright colours. And we're going to do him here. And then we're going to eventually have them both saying something. So get your pens that you were using before. And we're going to do the chicken on this side. And I'm going to start by doing the chicken's head, which is this shape. 
and it curves around like this and the neck comes back down to about there and I'm going to do a little wing that goes here and I'm going to do some tail feathers that are going to go like this, they're going to curve back one, two, three, Should do a couple more. And then this curves back here. Now, kind of right in the middle, we're gonna do a little lump. And that is where his leg is gonna go. We'll just join those up to meet the lump. And then we'll do another little lump just behind. That's where his back leg is gonna be. Now, he's gonna be a funky chicken, so I'm gonna give him a quiff, which is like a big kind of wave of hair like this. And I'm gonna give him a little beak that is open here. It will get him saying something too. And I'm gonna do that thing that goes under a chicken's neck. I don't even know what that's called. I might find out what it's called and put it up here somewhere. But if I do, then I'll also have to play <coughs> that noise. Right, because he's a funky chicken, I'm gonna give him some cool sunglasses and they're gonna be shaped like stars. So if I draw a star, it's quite tricky to draw a star shape. So you might wanna do this in pencil and then go over it. And do a circle in the middle and then do a little dot for his beady eye and then I'll do the back of the glasses there and I'm gonna do the first foot on the floor a little leg that comes down like that and it branches off with one two and then a bit at the back and then this back one I'm just gonna have it bent like this That. So it looks as though he's got his leg up. Now I've got to do a wing at the front where he's pointing upwards. So let me get my bigger pen back. And I'm gonna draw a wing that points like this. Remember, if you're following along, you can pause this at any time. And also, if you go in the description, you can see a link to my finished one if you want to have that on a screen whilst you're drawing. That can be quite useful. And all I'm gonna do now is add in some feather details and perhaps some lines on his quiff here. And now we're ready to color them in. I'm also gonna have mine saying something. If you want yours to say something, make sure you write the words first and then do the speech bubble around. That way you won't run out of room at all. We're gonna do that now. There you go, a punk rock duck and a funky chicken. The duck is saying, I wanna rock. And the chicken is saying, I wanna cluck. You can make yours say whatever you like. Make sure you get your mums and dads to share them with me using the hashtag Olaf Art. And if you would like to win my picture here, all you need to do is go into the comments of the video down below and type in the special code phrase, my punk rock duck makes my chicken cluck. Now, I'm gonna level with you guys. This isn't the first time that I've drawn this. I actually drew it half an hour ago, but forgot to press record, so I've done it twice. And I'm gonna give both of them away. So if you do comment below, you will have twice as much chance as normal of winning one of my drawings. Unfortunately, that is the end of another episode of Art Club. Aww. And you know what? It's the end of this series of Art Club 2. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry though, I will be coming back. It's not the end of Art Club forever, but I am going on a bit of a break. But it is more important than ever that you click subscribe because what I will be doing is putting up 
some little drawing challenges and perhaps some mini art clubs, some little light versions of art club and some other cool stuff. But you'll only know about those if you click subscribe and get a little reminder. So make sure you do that. Go to the subscribe button and click it now. Now, I know it's quite sad, but I will definitely, definitely, definitely be coming back with more art clubs. But I have got a book that I need to do the illustrations for, so I'm going to be really busy. The book is all about monsters, and I don't know whether I can show you any of the pages or not. Don't tell anyone about that, that was top secret. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be busy for a bit doing those drawings. But please do send in all of your drawings from this episode to me. I will look at them. Make sure you use the hashtag Olaf Art. And why not go back and watch an episode that you haven't yet watched? If you have watched all of them already, go back and watch them again. I will be uploading more bonus stuff, so make sure you click subscribe and look out for those. And unfortunately, that is the end of series one of Art Club. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed it. Let me know actually if you've got any suggestions for the next series. And I think I'm gonna play us out with the No Rules song. Bye. The first rule of Art Club. There are no rules, you can do what you like The second rule, ignore the first The third rule, always wear stripes Make the queen out of plasticine Rip off her face if you're making a pollock Turn Boris into a strawberry Draw an altar and make it robotic There's no rules Apart from the first three Make a poop in a pop art style Dress up as a dolphin if it feels right Vomit a rainbow if it makes you smile Use a pencil or a finger dipped in Marmite Balance a loo on a joke shop poo Clone yourself in the name of art Bouncing bombs and sausage birds too Whooping cushions with time delay farts Disco pants and a skateboarding sloth Be Joe Wicks or Jurgen Klopp Superhero pizza Belly button fluff Write a word as long as it's plop There's no rule There's no